Condo did not like what Dwayne Wade and Jimmy Butler had to say about their Bulls teammates following the Chicago's loss to the Hawks on Wednesday, saying the following on Instagram about the difference between the veterans in the Bulls locker room and the veterans that were in the Celtics locker room when he played there. Quote, my vets would never go to the media. They would come to the team. My vets didn't pick and choose when they wanted to bring it. They brought it every time they stepped in the gym, whether it was practice or a game. They didn't take days off. My vets didn't care about their numbers. My vets played for the team. When we lost, they wouldn't blame us. They took responsibility and got in the gym. They showed the young guys what it meant to work. He finished the post with the following on this Bulls team. If anything is questionable, it's the leadership. Stephen A., he didn't mince words. Is Rajon Rondo right? Well, he does have a point. He has a point because he's talking about Paul Pierce, Kevin, De Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen. And the fact of the matter is they never conducted themselves the way we saw Jimmy Butler and Dwayne Wade conduct themselves. Now, we can debate whether or not it's justified because what resonates with me is that I've known Dwayne Wade since he's come into the league. I know him very well. And he has never done something like what he did in Chicago the other day. So it leads me asking the question, Max, as to whether or not or what the reason was behind Dwayne Wade stepping out of character and, and, and going on blast in the public the way that he did. That's typical Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler is the kind of dude that will say it right to your face. Uh, he said it to me about Fred Hoiberg on the record last year. He didn't mince any words. That's Jimmy Butler. In the case of Dwayne Wade, he's a bit more diplomatic. So for him to do something like this, it was clearly out of character. And the appropriate question would be to ask what pushed him to this point, because that's not who he is. But nevertheless, to answer the question directly, Rondo is right. Because KG would have never done that. Qu KG is a leader, man. This brother is, is as real and as raw as it gets. And, and clearly, in that locker room with KG and Doc Rivers, that's simply not going to happen. Wouldn't it happen with Paul Pierce? Wouldn't it happen with Ray Allen either? Here's where it gets a bit tricky for Rondo, however. Even though there's veracity to his statements, his track record also gets attached to it. I like Rondo personally a lot. If you get to know him, uh, he's a much better dude than he comes across. But he initially had problems in Boston because he was like, it ain't no big three. It's the big four. Don't leave me out of it. And it took him a little time to adapt to that. You know, you go to Dallas and ultimately, and you got to remember, they gave up Brandon Wright. They gave up Jay Crowder. I forgot who else they gave up. They gave up a couple of picks as well. They gave up some cats to get him in Dallas. And then you literally butted heads with Rick Carlisle to the point where you got exiled from Dallas. It wasn't smooth in Sacramento. Now you go to Chicago. And so when you look at it from that perspective, you know, your temperamental tendencies certainly play a role in things that transpired in at least three of the four places you have been at. And for Dwayne Wade to speak up without ever saying anybody's name, but for him to speak up so outspokenly, so adamantly about it, it gives you cause to pause. But again, Rondo's not wrong because he's talking about KG, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen. He is right. They didn't do things like that. The content of what Rondo said was correct. Tough to argue with the shots he took. Um, but does he have the standing to make those no. kind of comments publicly is the question. The problem with Rondo is that he entered a league that was changing as the, like, what does Rondo not do well and never did well and it gets worse and worse and now it's historically bad? Shoot. Guy can't shoot. And as the league became increasingly a league about making shots, he was ill-fitting and worse and worse fitting. So he goes from a guy who's considered, if not an elite point guard, then the next thing to it. Um, and the only reason he wouldn't be elite is because, again, the problems with the shooting, free throws, et cetera, even getting to the line nowadays. But and as he moved from spot to spot, the returns were diminished, increasingly diminished. And there's still diminishing returns to the point where he's just not good. I, I know he had numbers in Sacramento. I did not think he was a good player. I did not think he was even an average point guard in Sacramento. And clearly he's worse than that now in Chicago. And if you read between the lines, it sounds like what, what Rondo is saying, or I don't even know if he realizes he's saying it is, hey, Butler, Wade, the rest of us aren't that good. It's, it's not about not trying. We're just not that good. I don't know if he realizes what he's saying, but if you have a collection of good players, they wouldn't be playing like this. Uh, you know, unless it's really bad leadership. 
Uh, or it's just that, yeah, the, 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 you know, Wade is still pretty good, and Butler is a very good player, but the, there's not enough talent on the team. It's not that we're not trying. It's that we ain't that good. So whether or not Rondo realized it, that is not only the truth, but you can interpret what he's saying as that. The question is, does he have the right or the standing or the status in the game? I know a lot of players will still tell you he's a genius. You know, they, they think of Rondo as a basketball genius, but a guy who totally can't buy a shot does he have the standing as, a, as one of the things that's kind of weighing you down to take shots at the two best players on the team? Well, I will answer it this way. Let's remember, Max Kellerman, that Rondo is a champion as well. He won a ring. It's not like he doesn't know what it takes to capture a championship. He's a highly intelligent individual, which no one has questioned, and he's a champion. And so since the subject matter was about winning, it does make him qualify to have a say because even though Dwayne Wade has more rings, Rondo has a ring too, and he played a very significant but role publicly? in them capturing the ring. Well, what I'm saying is none of them should have gone. None of them should have gone publicly. But what I'm saying to you is that what has hurt Rondo is Ron, is the subject matter is not just about winning, but it's about behavior. If Dwayne Wade and Jimmy Butler said dudes can't play, that would have been excessively cruel. That's not what they said. They're questioning work ethic. They're questioning commitment. And when they bring up that subject, Rondo does have credence in terms of a voice yep. because he is a champion. And when we look at the fact of that he can't play, well, let's qualify that. He can't play in today's game because the rule changes right. and the way the game has evolved, it, it affects him. When he was playing with Boston and you had Ray Allen on one side, and you had Paul Pierce on another. And you had a KG who could step away from the basket 15, 17, 19 feet religious, 15 to 17 feet religiously and hit jump shots. He had dudes to give the ball to who could make shots. You can't put him on a team where there are not bona fide shooters. Score is fine, but that's not good enough for a Rondo. You no, need that was always the question shooters. with this Chicago team. That. Where are he the shooters? Right, where are the shooters? Exactly. And, 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 you know, the thing about Rondo, and I'm a fan of Rondo's, at least, I, you know, about the way, a fan of the way he used to play the game. Sure, yeah, um, sure, but, sure. But, yeah, sure, he, he really can't shoot, and that's always been the case. And, and furthermore, and I hate to bring this up, but the larger the role he has had in the team, even on those Boston teams, the worse they did. When it was the big three, and look at this, this young guy Rondo's on his way up, they won a championship. As Rondo took a step forward in the offense, the Celtics, partly because of, of Miami, of course, but the Celtics took a step back in terms of their position well, in the East. And Max, from team to team he's gone since then, those teams have gotten worse when he's joined them. I, I, want to remind you, I want to remind you about this. Again, you're talking Dallas, Sacramento, Chicago. But in Boston, yep. remember what this dude did in the playoffs. The other guys, I mean, this yep. dude was a walking triple-double. Rondo showed up, man. I mean, so once upon a time, he was big time. But as the game evolved and it came more about shooters playing point and legitimate bona fide shooters being out there, he couldn't adapt to that because he could never really, really Last shoot thing. jump shots. That's the problem. Last thing, Jimmy yep. Butler went from a guy who no one cared about, wasn't on anyone's an radar, -star. to defensive stopper to all-star, very few guys have ever done that in the history of basketball, to a legitimate all-star and one of the best two guards, two-way two two guards in the NBA. So if he questions someone's work ethic, because that's how he got there, Butler has some, some credence, he has some standing Let, to do so based let, on his own history. You're no, right, but you're right, hold on Molly, yeah. you're right, but very, very important last point. Mm -hmm. Dwayne Wade has nothing to worry about, he's Dwayne Wade. But Jimmy Butler is an all-star looking to continue to ascend. He has to be very careful because despite his talent, what Jimmy Butler doesn't want anybody doing is saying that he's a distraction because of how he'll call out guys. That reputation could potentially follow him. He ha I love him, but he has to be careful. Ain't no championships on not, that resume so far. Fair or not, he may, not, it, he may suffer. That's fair. Let's step aside from the drama and the shy, though. Gentlemen, what is going on in your city in New York? Coming up, despite reportedly telling Phil Jackson that he wants to stay in NYC, the Knicks appear to be desperate to get rid of him. We'll discuss Melo's future with the team.
Plus, staying in New York, Odell Beckham Jr. is undoubtedly one of the best wide receivers in the NFL, but it hasn't come without its drama. He's now saying he's learned from those mistakes, but should we believe him? Former Giant Antonio Pierce in the house to break it down.